Hey everybody, I'm Sir SirTapTap, and guess who accidentally recorded this video with my mic muted? Oops. Anyway, so there's a little bit of a trickerino that I might have mentioned in the last video where I talked about the Puffin. If you haven't seen the video about the Puffin slash paid subscription, go watch that. Oh, let's get the music on here. So, go watch that first. Otherwise, you'll want to take a peekerino at this exploiterino. So this is pretty basic stuff. Uh, if, you've, if you've played Abyssrium, you might be familiar with... Um, the ad exploit where you kind of move your clock forward and you get new ads. Um, that's but then I, I haven't really made a, a video about that before because I think it's really frustrating. It's kind of you know eh, watching ads you know fraudulently you know with an, an emulator or something, not really watching the ad and uh, it's not really supposed to do that. And I think it's Cheetah Mobile's own like internal like ad network so I guess they're only breaking their own rules but you're kind of not supposed to be able to watch ads as often as the game lets you uh, you kind of get in trouble on ad networks for that but I guess Cheetah Mobile does it in-house so whatever anyway the important thing is um, it doesn't really matter because you don't actually see the ads in this and also ads crash and ads are annoying to watch I don't really plus ads you know, give money to the developer and you know I don't really like the idea of people you know, nobody likes advertisers, but I, I don't really like the idea of like scamming advertisers about a, out of a bunch of like real money. Like, this is fake internet points that I'm, you know, quote unquote scamming here. I feel less bad about that than you know, ad kind of ad fraud, frankly. Um, but yeah, all you got to do change your change your clock forward an hour. Go into Abyssrium, tap the two things, as you can kind of see. I've got a rhythm pretty much down because I already did a video on this and I forgot to record. Oops. Um, so yeah, um, just get lots of lots of gems, lots of currency. If you have Nox Player, which I do, I recorded a little scriptorino here that'll just do all of that for me. Lovely, lovely. Oh, you can't see the uh, you can't you can't see the thing. Um, yeah, I'm playing the macro and it kind of displays on screen what it's doing, but for whatever reason you can't see it through the way I'm capturing the game. But yeah, uh, you can just set this up overnight. So yeah, if you got the free trial, I would definitely recommend doing this to you know kind of get the most out of it and kind of maybe even max those skills to get ridiculously expensive. Which, by the way, let me show you these skills. So the skills that you that you can get here, um, if you were to go into the shop. And buy the $300 worth of in-app purchases, not even kidding, 300 bucks, roughly, of uh, in-app purchases, slightly under, but yeah. Um, get all of the gems from all of these, that's, you know, that's over, that's about a thousand, or what's that, 150,000 gems total about. Um, do you think that's enough to uh, max out all your skills? Nope, it's less than half. Uh, Farmer Lesbian on Reddit worked out the math, I don't remember exactly, but it's less than half if you spend 300 bucks. And most of the skill upgrades aren't really worth it. As you can see, there was an exploit long, long ago that let you get on Google Play, you could basically do the same, get the same weekly reward multiple times. And uh, I did that, and it still wasn't enough to max out all of them. I had, a, well, I thought, a pretty healthy amount of gems. But yeah, obviously this is an exploit, and if morally you don't want to do an exploit, uh, why are you watching an exploit video? <laughs> but for those of you who do, uh, there you go. This is definitely what I would recommend doing with your um, free trial with the Puffin. I don't really recommend getting the free trial, but if you do, I would do this. Um, I find it kind of funny that every time that the devs try to like kind of screw over the players, make some really bad event or whatever, players always find some exploit to let us, you know, kind of enjoy the stuff the game devs don't want us to enjoy. Because, you know, it's not it's not the devs, by the way. It's the publisher. It's I shouldn't put it on the original devs. Um, Cheetah Mobile acquired this game a long time ago. And acquisitions tend to mean things get run into the ground. And that's in a way what's happening. Uh, I don't want to blame the original devs for that though. But anyway, uh, you might wonder, can you do the recharge skill and run the um, the luck shell and stuff with this exploit? Well, unfortunately, no, you can't. Uh, I tried and there is apparently an exploit to get the puffin to show up, but it requires changing time zones. I'll do a separate video for that because it sounds more complicated and I kind of want to get to bed here. But this is a really simple one. Anybody can do this. You can do this on your phone, obviously. You can see my mouse cursor. I'm doing this in Nox Player on PC, which allows me to use the macro recorder, which I'm just going to turn on here. Um, 
but you can do this on your phone. You can do this on iPhone. Uh, all you have to do is turn off automatic date and time, turn off automatic time zone. Just keep moving the hour forward, you know, move it forward one hour. Uh, really simple stuff. And you can, you know, get a crap ton of invitations and stuff. And hoping next event is not quite so greedy as this one, but I, I, I can't, I can't assume that. Anyway. Hope that helps. I'm Sir Tap Tap, and oh, one more thing. A lot of people ask me to do more Abyssrium videos and stuff, and I think most of those people just don't realize quite how many Abyssrium videos I have. I have a playlist, and there'll be a little card you can tap at the end of this video that'll take you to all of those videos. I have, I think, 100 videos of this game. And uh, I know some of you have watched all of them, so uh, thanks very much if, if you have. But uh, yeah, I have all of those videos. I have videos on everything in this game. So the reason I don't do more Abyssrium videos is because there's nothing else to do videos on. Whenever there's a new thing to talk about, I will do so. And uh, maybe check out some of my other videos. You know, Abyssrium isn't the only cool game out there. Uh, Abzu, I know a lot of people who loved Abyssrium loved Abzu. Uh, check out maybe some of the other videos if you're bored sometime or just you know, want something to watch in the background, uh, you might be introduced to a really cool new game. So yeah, thanks for watching.